They are particularly adding to the discussion of Muslim, what does it mean to be a Muslim feminist? I was drawn to both of these writers um, because uh, they focus on the role of uh, Muslim women uh, in their own society, uh, what role they play. Um, but this role, these women's role, are affected by interpretation of Quran. The peer is actually, of course, a sort of not so much of an Islamic scholar, but somebody who um, self uh, a self-declared uh, man who proclaims that you know he can talk about the Quran, uh, the Hadith, and uh, how Allah wants people to live in the world. Um, and I found these authors talking about these roles of the peers, who only use the words of Quran and the Hadith um, to exploit the women, especially. It is interesting to have a look at this point of view that um, women's lives, women's um, ways of of doing things in household it's influenced by um, how these men are interpreting uh, these incidents. This is very important because I'm talking about only Islam and the interpretation of Islam. Uh, but if you look all over the world, um, in most places, um, women's lives are guided or ruled by certain sets of rules. Uh, one of them is um, also patriarchal rules. Coming back to the point that how you know others will be will get out get something out of it is that um, no matter where you are in the world. Um, most often women's lives are ruled by patriarchal system and then systems and then um, what are the things that are actually regulating the patriarchal rules or what are the bases of the patriarchal rules but then again there are other rules that are more related to a religion um, and I think people should be aware of that for example, we opened up our discussion uh, the last time when we were talking about actually um, Islamic uh, feminist theology, actually feminist theology. And I asked them to tell me how was the creation story told to them. Okay? And a lot of my students said that they were told two stories, one at home and one at church. The home one, where the parents told them, was more of like, you know, the fall of men, that Eve and Adam made the fruit together, and that's it. But in the church, or in some other religious discussion, it was more emphasized on that Eve was the person who ate the fruit. So, I, and I think that gave me a chance, that gave my students a chance to kind of speculate on these issues, that it's not only Islam, not only one religion that can rule over women's lives.